So I ain't in a good mood today. And there's no better person to take out my fucking anger on than the biggest asshole of them all. And I've said that before, but this time I fucking mean it. And you guys all know who I'm talking about. The little munchkin, Craig Doucette. I woke up this morning, all right? And I got in a bad mood when I saw my friend, Nick Tregilly, of five years. I talk to him every day. He's a close friend of mine. He makes a video not being neutral, not seeing both sides. And he's my friend, so I have a right to criticize him. He doesn't even know I'm making this fucking video. Not being neutral, but no. Taking Greg's side and trashing the other company when he doesn't even know all the details about it. And you know what? I don't give a fuck who's my friend when they're doing unethical shit and not going out of their way to rectify a situation that is potentially really bad. I'll fucking call them out on it. I don't give a shit who they are. So that's what put me in this mood. And I've been keeping my mouth shut. I intended on doing a video. Let's start with the hair transplant that is unethical. And you guys don't have to believe me that it's unethical. Joe Tillman... Okay, the best hair consultant in the world made a whole video on Greg Doucette. And it didn't get the views that it should have because maybe then they would have known about the crooked shit he was fucking doing. So I've been on Greg Doucette. I said Doucette. I've been on his fucking ass, okay, since then because he lied to everybody. And I know for a fact he did. This piece of shit, okay, he got paid. Not only did he get the hair transplant for free, he got the trip for free, but he got paid for it. And he's teaching people, hey, go do this shit. Look at my good job that they did on my fucking head. In the meantime, that same clinic reached out to many people and offered him the same bullshit that they offered fucking Greg. All right? So he's a fucking liar on that. Now, look at this whole turkesterone thing, which honestly, it could be a mistake that's been overlooked by many fucking people because that guy, all right, and Sigma did a video on it showing the samples were used and showing actual pictures of the samples. So we know they were using the actual samples, right? So this could be a big issue with the supply, whatever the case is. I'm not even going to get into it because it's just pissing me off just thinking about it, right? But this is the thing when you're in business, okay? And I'm not getting on Derek. Ask me why I'm not getting on Derek. Because Derek is going out of his way to rectify the situation. He's not hiding. He's not on vacation making videos of TikTok girls and guys to try to get more subscribers in order to bury the situation. Because that's what all big YouTubers usually do. They won't make videos talking about the drama or the controversy that's going on. They hide in hoping that they can bury it. But that's not what a person with ethics does. You know what a person with ethics does? If you see that there's a current problem with something like turkestron, you know what you do? A person who has ethics? You pull the fucking product until you figure out what the fuck is going on with it. You don't sit there, hide, not make videos, and then convince Nick to make a video covering up for your fucking ass because you're too much of a fucking pussy to do it yourself. I mean, look, you started your fucking channel on what? Calling out the fucking liars and the bullshitters in the fitness industry. But in turn, what's happening? You're turning into the biggest one your fucking self. So don't you think you should address this shit to the fucking people who spent millions of dollars on your shit? Instead of running and fucking hiding about it? Address it or do something about it. Obviously, there is an issue. You could say it's bullshit. These people are trying to get business. Fine, whatever. But you know what? From the outside and from what it looks like, before the situation gets fucking worse, I think it's time you fucking address it to people instead of fucking hiding.